Hey, well, guess what? It's a gateway. And it says press F1 to enter setup. Oh, it should have set down. Well, I guess you could probably hear the drive making all that noise. I had it on cable select and it didn't do any good, but I had the cable, the end connector on there. So this time I put the uh, second one down on there. There's only two on there. And the uh, same power uh, connector that I've been using. But it got me a... Uh, Ah, it's still showing video. How can I do that? I've never seen him do that before. Of course, it's not running. It is running. How is that possible? I've never seen that in my life. Is that fan moving? Yes, it is running. So it's still running, but it's uh, 2050 cache, okay, memory 256 megabyte, I knew that, I saw that on the stick. Um, so the machine will run, the video card does work, let's see, there we go, boot configuration. But I'm sure that bad drive is bad. It wouldn't boot without a drive. I tried that too. Reset configuration data. Could be some bad. You know, I've heard them make crazy. You know, when, when the settings are really bad, wrong on something for the hard drive, it can make a lot of noise. Or if you've messed with it with uh, hard hard drive, not formatting, but What's the name? What's the app that I always use? Anyway, there's apps that you can work with the uh, sectors and stuff. Serial A port. Legacy USB is enabled. How about that. IDE configuration. Hard disk pre delay, six seconds. I usually don't need. You usually don't need that, but this isn't. Primary master not installed. Yeah, well, that's the one I took out. That's this uh, Western Digital. It's the 250 gigabyte. I'm gonna, I'm gonna use it in something else anyway, no matter what. So that's, unless there's something wrong with it. <clears throat> it wasn't making any noise, and the machine was coming on. The fan was running with it by itself. So this is a Western Digital two. Okay, LBA enabled, multi-sector transfers disabled. You can't do anything to it. Ultra DMA disabled. Type auto. That's usually the best thing. Auto. Well, that's just what type of drive. Auto, CD-ROM, ATPI, other ATPI, IDE removable. It's the only other thing I could use. Usually, you probably have to set it all up yourself. Let's... Well, it's not working. Try ID removable. Just to see what happens. Even though it's not removable. User none. ATB, ATAPI. Forgotten what that means. Okay. Oh, well, now it gives it some sectors and everything. Might be enough to make it work, huh? We'll try it. And then... Secondary, that would be the... CD or DVD, I think it's just CD drive. It's on auto, and then there's no slave, I know that. Just that, there is a diskette in there, it sees it. Okay, so maybe it's not dead. A little vent log configuration, no, don't, I didn't mean to do that. Okay, video configuration, PCI. It says primary PCI, but but there's no PCI in there. But that's fine. That doesn't hurt anything. Security, no. Power. Power management enabled. Hard drive disabled. Video, I do not like to suspend the video. Disabled. And then why not? Stay off, yeah. That's good. Okay, uh... Silent boot enabled. 
Okay. Kill. Yeah. Power. What about video, hard drive, motor marine? Where's the power failure? Stay off. Oh, okay. So why is it booting up automatically? That's where you should be able to, after power failure, stay off. Last state. Power on. Stay off. Last state. Let's put, leave it. Whoops. Stay off. Okay. Now then. Silent boot. What else? What other options do we have? Just disable and enable. Rapid BIOS. I keep hitting the wrong keys. I'm trying to do this with my left hand. That's fine, I think. CD ROM. Floppy. That's fine. IDE. Could swap those, but either way is fine, I think. Keyboard detect warning enable. Okay. Mouse detect disable. Detect warning. CD detect warning. Hard drive detect disable. Disable. Smart disk. Smart for hard disk. Let's enable the hard disk. That way maybe it'll tell us if there's something wrong. Exit saving changes. Yes. Okay, let's see what happens now. Oh, looky there. Gateway boot screen. I probably missed that a minute ago. Oops. Hard drive not found. Okay. Probably because of what I just did. And it's not trying to run the hard drive anymore. Okay. Now, how am I going to get into the... Oh, now it's trying to boot the floppy. I probably got it hung up in that. Let's see. Can I do a control alt delete? Yep, sure can. With my left hand. It's easier with your right hand. Okay, now F1, I think, was it. If I can get it. It says tab key. But I wanted to BIOS. Yeah, I missed, missed it. Tab, okay. I've got it hung up now. Now it's detecting stuff. There. It's just telling you all about it. 866 megahertz. with it anymore. Pretty sure the hard drive's bad. I don't I don't know how I'm gonna get back in the BIOS now. I have got floppy boot disk. I can put one in it, boot it to that. Then I got them for for checking out hard drives and stuff. So that's what I might do. Okay, hard drive was not found. escape to prevent that in the future. I wonder if that would let me. I already tried any other key. I want to try to get into BIOS. It goes so fast I can't. Let me go ahead and use the power button to shut it down. Okay, now let's try F1. There. Might have been all I needed to do. Oh, the hard drive is doing... Yeah, there we go. Okay, now back to making noise and everything. It's showing it as, uh, yeah, IDE removable. <laughs> now I can't change it. Oh, yes, I can. Auto. Okay, yes, you can. Got to hit the plus and minus keys. Okay. 
so it might see it now but it's showing it since I've got it on uh, probably should put it on master since I've got it on cable select it's seeing it as uh, secondary really you'd want it to be primary I don't think it matters because it won't it it sits there and makes noise and then then it shuts down but the machine keeps running so yeah not gonna help bad hard drive okay but anyway, got it back to where it was. It's an exit saving changes. Yes. Okay. I could probably try to find the floppy now or something. I'll just leave it just like it is. If I can remember. I'm, I might put me a sticky note in there. Found it, it looks like. Because it's uh, beep, making the noise again. <coughs> so... You always spend way too much time when you fiddle with this stuff. It didn't ever rain either. It's hot and humid. I keep turning the fan off, my beautiful fan, so that I can uh, not have all the noise from the fan in my video. And it's making me just sit here with... I'm not just sweating. I'm just a little glisten on the face, you know. A little. Okay, it's just sitting there. Press tab to display the messages. Okay. 866 megahertz, 256 RAM, okay. Escape to continue. Hard drive shut down again. Now I went to disk dis drive A. Okay, no drive in there. Never know if it'll work though, just because it sees it doesn't mean it'll read this. Got several of them that won't work anymore. All right, that's enough of that fun. We will hold that button down and, yeah, now it acts like a normal machine at least. And uh, I'm not going to even mess with it. I guess I could change it. Could change the... Uh, I've, I've, since I figured that much out, I know it's not going to help, but since I figured out where the uh, jumper needs to go, I guess I'll put it on master. Next time I may not remember what I did. Alright, bye.